This past football season, athletes and their fans found a unique way to interact via Twitter. However, for student recruits, they found fame via the Twitter format before even committing to their college or university. The assistant athletic director at the University of Oregon, James Harris, has had to deal with this increasing social media attention to his student athletes. You have an 18 year old kid who comes in and before even here, he has 4,000 Twitter follow followers. We haven't even had a chance to, to show him where his classes are and he already has to, to know um, how to make good decisions on social media. Yuri Wright, a New Jersey senior, was expelled from his high school for graphic tweets. Michigan later lost interest in recruiting Wright due to his comments. You're representing the university, whether your uh, Twitter account is public or private. Uh, you are a member of this university, and not just the university, the athletic department and your team. So that's something that's extremely important. We want you to represent well. Eric Armstead, a five-star recruit recently signed to U of O, felt the heat on his Twitter when he changed from his previous commitment of USC. One tweet to him said, that's why I'm glad he didn't pick USC. He loves the attention. Straight diva, not to mention overrated. With fan interaction like this, the U of O athletic department has made a plan. I'm thinking it'll go into effect next fall. Um, we'll use a social media policy, but that's not going to limit what our student athletes are doing, per se. It's going to give them more direction in what we expect out of them in social media. With Twitter being overrun on days like February 2nd, National Signing Day, we may soon see more universities change their social media policy like the University of Oregon. For Oregon News, I'm Virginia Rice.